the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 152, Psalms 91-102, singing a new song. The psalmist commanded persons and countries of the entire world to give praise and glory to the Lord who is full of honor, majesty, power, and beauty. First point, the psalmist teaches those who are in distress to find their refuge and shelter in God. The Bible teaches that one who seeks God will receive his love. One who has their heart towards God will be the one to receive his blessing. The psalmist in Psalm 91 is a blessing poured unto a person of God. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and lampart. The psalmist writes that those who trust in God will receive His protection, and those who hold on to God's promise will find joy and peace in their hearts. They will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Later, Satan makes a reference to Psalm 91 verse 12 during his test. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you, and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Second point, the psalmist praised God for granting him his grace in the morning and his sincerity in the night. In Psalm 92, the psalmist does not complain about the prosperity of the wicked, but rather focuses on praising God. This stress about the wicked prospering was discussed in Psalm 37 and also Psalm 73, as well as in the book of Habakkuk. But the psalmist here does not complain about the wicked, but rather has faith that God will deal with them in his own time. The psalmist knew the end for the wicked, and so claimed that there was no reason to be envious of them or to fear them. The psalmist moreover claimed that the mockery and the ridicule he received for being righteous was not something to be ashamed of, but something to be proud of. This was because God will repay him right on. Third point, the psalmist sang that he will praise God with a new song. Psalm 96 praises the coming Messiah. It starts with, sing to the Lord a new song. The psalmist sang that God not only created the universe, but also made new things happen in it. Among the 150 psalms, psalms which started like this is Psalms 98 and 149. The content of Psalms 96 is similar to the content of 1 Chronicles chapter 16, which records David's poem. Psalms 97, like 96, goes on about the coming of the Messiah. The main characteristic of God's rule is justice. The psalmist praises God's justice and sings of the righteous trial. 
Psalm 98 follows on to sing of the coming Messiah. He confesses that God is worthy of praise and worship. Psalms 96, 97, and 98 all have similar themes. All three focus on praise, and all three praise God who governs the whole world. Psalm 98 uses all sorts of instruments to praise God. But what stands out more is the message that God is our Savior. This later connects to Jesus as the Savior of the world. Psalm 99 also sings about the coming of the Messiah. The psalmist claims that the Messiah is worthy beyond all aims and should be praised. Fourth point, David sang of God's wonders and righteousness. Psalm 101 was written by David, and here David confesses that he will hate the actions of the renegades. This was the way in which David managed to focus on God and help the people to also focus on God. Psalm 101 contains David's song about how a king should act in a just and righteous way. He confesses that God makes him strong. David claims that he wishes for his life to be like the one who looks to and obeys God at all times. He confesses this through prayer. As a king of a country, he stood before God and proclaimed that he wished to be righteous in God's eyes and that he wished for his people to do so as well. Fifth point, the psalmist asked God not to conceal himself in his days of despair. It is assumed that Psalm 102 was written during the time in Babylon as captives. It records the heart of the distress and the suffering. It is not the prayer of a single person, but represents the prayer of the community. The psalmist writes in a state of agony. He writes, For my days vanish like smoke, my bones burn like glowing embers, my heart is blighted and withered like grass. I forget to eat my food. In my distress, I groan aloud and am reduced to skin and bones. I lie awake. I have become like a bird, alone on a roof. For I eat ashes as my food and mingle my drink with tears. My days are like the evening shadow. I wither away like grass. Despite his agony, the psalmist starts the prayer, believing that God will hear it. The fact that he prayed in a time of distress shows how he did not lose hope in God. The psalmist waits for God's mercy and blessing. He prays that there will be God's miracle in the midst of a deep despair. This whole country will become a desolate wasteland, and these nations will serve the king of Babylon 70 years. But when the 70 years are fulfilled, I will punish the king of Babylon and his nation, the land of the Babylonians, for their guilt, declares the Lord, and will make it desolate forever. I will bring on that land all the things I have spoken against it, all that are written in this book, and prophesied by Jeremiah against all the nations. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference, and when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, 
takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.